there. We are going to start talking about using selection tools in Photoshop. And this is the part everybody likes because when you can select various things, you can build a picture based on anything, taking bits and pieces of different pictures and putting them all together in one nice cohesive picture. However, we got to talk about the various selection tools that exist in Photoshop and some very specific terms that apply to selection tools. So I'm only going to introduce you to a couple of selection tools here from the beginning, but there is a whole selection of selection tools that we will eventually talk about. I'm going to start with the most basic selection tool. So right below the move tool is a, what looks like a rectangle with dashes. That is the rectangular marquee tool. If you click and hold it, you can also access the elliptical marquee tool, which is a circle or an oval. Whenever you have a selection tool clicked on, at the top, your options bar up here will show different little buttons. So you can see there's like a square and then there's two overlapping squares and then there's like a square with a piece missing. Those mean different things, okay? Now that's in Photoshop. Let me pop over to Photo P since we are using both programs in here from time to time. Same button, you can see they look identical. Click and hold. We only have two choices, rectangle and ellipse. Um, the buttons look a little different up here at the top, but basically it's the same thing. So we have a solid button, um, which we don't have really on here, but it means the same thing. So the one where this top is solid is the same as this one. And notice on Photopea it tells you this is the replace selection. So here's what this means. I'm drawing a rectangle, okay? Because I'm on the replace one, if I draw another rectangle, it replaces that rectangle, okay? These little things that you see here on my screen are what we call the marching ants. I don't know why they came up with that a long time ago, but when you have a selection, it's represented by marching ants. So those little white lines are called marching ants. So let's do the same thing over here in Photoshop. I'm gonna take my rectangular marquee. I'm gonna click on the first one. Notice in here it's called the new selection instead of replace, but that just means the same thing, right? I create a, a selection and if I draw another one, it makes a new selection. It replaces the old selection. So that's what the first button does on both programs. The second button is going to be, let me keep the other one open so we can see them both at the same time. The second button is the Add to Selection button. Now, in Photo P, they call it the Unite button, but basically it adds to the previous selection. So, if I take my marquee tool now and I draw, oops, make sure I'm on my tool. Okay, if I take my marquee tool now and I draw, it adds to it. So now they're connected, or in the words of Photo P, they're united. So in here, same situation, if I click on it, the add to selection, it connects them. And anything else that I add will be connected by those marching ants. Notice the marching ants in Photoshop, um, you can't tell when I zoom up, but they're actually moving around, like they are marching in there, so. Anyway, okay, the third button is subtract from selection. And so it does what you probably think it does. If I draw, it gets rid of that part in the selection. Okay, so now that part's gone. Let's go to Photo P and take a look at it. The button in Photo P is called Subtract. And again, I'll, let me click and hold and use the ellipse on this one. Let me click on Subtract, and then there we go. See, it's cutting out that circular area everywhere that I drag from that selection. Now, we're not cutting anything out of the actual picture. We're just cutting out the um, selection itself, the area that has the marching ants. All right, so basically you can see, I mean, those icons are very similar and they do the same thing, subtract from selection and subtract. And I'll be honest, this last one, which is called intersect, to me, I never use it, but you would basically draw something and then draw another thing and it would keep the intersecting areas. I never use that button, so just forget it, it exists. So new selection, add or unite the selection, subtract from the selection. That's your three buttons. That's what you need to make sure that you make note of so that you know the difference between each of those tools. Now in Photoshop, this is so much better. Unfortunately, Photo P does not show us icons next to the mouse when we're doing things. Like we're drawing one of these shapes. In Photoshop, if I'm on new, 
I just get this little thing here, right? And if I'm on add to selection and I come over here, see I have a plus sign, Photoshop gives me a plus sign. And then if I'm on subtract, Photoshop gives me a minus sign. That's great. PhotoP doesn't show us pluses or minuses. So that's kind of a little bit annoying because, you know, I like to have the pluses or the minuses because it just makes it easier to deal with. Um, but you don't have any of that. So all you're going to have is literally the, um, let me click here. So if I'm on the new one, that's the first one. I just draw it. It's a plus, right? And if I go here to the unite, it's still a plus. And if I go to the subtract, just still a plus. So you just have to kind of know what you're doing and you're good. Now, instead of coming up there and switching buttons constantly, what you can do, I just keep mine on Unite all the time. And then I just keep adding in here. You know, if there's stuff I'm adding. Not, I wouldn't use this for this tree. But now, if you want to switch it from adding to subtracting without going up and moving your mouse away from what you're doing, all you have to do is press and hold the Alt key down by your keyboard. So I'm looking down here to make sure I'm pressing the right button. I'm holding down Alt. So I'm actually here, see I'm on Unite, but now I'm gonna hold down the Alt key. Look up there by that. Let's look up there. If I go up there right next to that, if I go back up there and I hit Alt, see how while I'm holding down Alt, that changed. See it? I let go of Alt, held down Alt, it changed. And so now I'm minusing while I'm holding that. But when I let go of Alt, now I'm plussing again. I'm adding into the selection. See how that works? So um, same thing in Photoshop. This is when you're on. Now what you have to be on is the Add to Selection or the Unite one. Okay. So while I'm on the Unite one, if I hold down Alt, and that you see, there it is. It does the same thing. It switched, right? See it switched. And then I also see the minus sign here. But when I let go of it, it goes back to this one. So Alt, right down there by your space bar, that's going to allow you to modify that selection. When you're on the add, it switches it while you're holding Alt to the opposite, okay? Now also remember as a review from previous units, if we hold down the space bar, we get a hand, which lets us scoot over on our document. If you haven't been using that hand yet, now it's time. That's the hand tool. Uh, you're going to use that a lot when we're making selections because you're going to be zoomed up really close when we're making selections. All right, so let's say that I don't want to use this tool and I don't like this selection because this is not helping me select a tree because it's not. To get rid of the selection, the marching ants, you're going to press the deselect command. So deselect is control and the letter D. Control D. That kind of makes sense, right? That's the same in both programs. You can also come to the select menu and go to deselect. And notice it says control D next to it because that's what it is, right? It's deselecting. Um, so I'll show you that in the other program as well. I'm in here, press control D, marching ants are gone, or I can go to select and deselect. All right, now you may be thinking, okay, well, we just did a bunch of selecting with the marquee tools, but we didn't do anything yet. You're right. That's in the next lesson. <laughs> so right now, let's recap. Marching ants, when you have a selection, that's what appears around your selection. It's how you know where the edges are. To make it go away, control D. That D selects the selections, or it makes the marching ants go away. It doesn't make the picture go away. It makes that area that's selected go away, okay? And then when we're on any of these selection tools, we're gonna have a bar up here that's gonna create a new selection where it replaces it. It's gonna to add to the current selection or unite the two selections together, or it's going to subtract when you draw out of the current selection. And those are the three buttons that we're going to use. With every tool you have, you're gonna have those options in here. All right. We'll continue this on in the next lesson.